Um, I was a paramedic before I was a nurse. Um, I've worked in adult ICUs in all genres, medical, trauma, cardiac ICUs. We've never seen anything like COVID. Every week I have people that try to compare it to the flu or they ask that how is this different than the flu. Um, there's really no comparison to anything that I've seen in my nursing career. I think it's just different in the age span. It doesn't, it, you know, it crosses all the age spans. The signs and symptoms can vary from person to person. Um, people can be positive and be asymptomatic. And the treatment for it, uh, you know, it's everything is new. So medicine is evolving. This is evolving around this pandemic. I directly treat COVID patients almost every day I go to work. And um, being on the COVID unit is mentally and physically exhausting. And um, so, you know, they really try to rotate us through there so we don't get overwhelmed and um, beaten down and tired. It's just um, the alarm fatigue. Those patients are alarming constantly, um, whether it's their oxygen saturations, their heart rates. Um, they're on the call bells a lot because they're alone. They don't have any contact with their families other than via phone, which is emotionally exhausting seeing these families and the patients and what they're having to go through separated. It's a scary time for them. It's a scary time for us. So we do um, try to rotate out of that unit just to limit the amount of wear and tear on our bodies and our minds. So the prep to treat a COVID patient going in and out of the rooms, it's very time consuming and painstaking. We put on our gown, gloves, and then we add an N95s. I wear a PAPR, which is a huge helmet. It's attached to a battery pack and it has po positive airflow underneath. It has a shield that goes underneath your chin, so your whole faces enco encased in this. I wear a mask underneath that. Um, and then once I have my gown and gloves and paper on, I put another pair of gloves on, so I'm double gloved. We have booty covers and head covers. So it's time, it's labor intensive and time intensive of putting all of it on. And that's just before you go in the room. Then when you're in the room, um, contact with patients, I'm constantly cow statting my gloves. And that's why I put two gloves, two pair of gloves on. So I have an outer pair and an inner pair when I come out of the room. When you're at work every day and you realize and you're in those rooms, when patients are going bad and they're aerosoling, they're coughing, we have them on high flow oxygen. So that's blowing lots of air in, but you know, air is coming out and you know, that stuff is aerosoling. It's scary. It is really scary. You think about it every time you go in the room. I don't want my family to get sick. I don't want to get sick. I want to be able to be healthy and be able to go to work and take care of patients. I want to be healthy and be able to take care of my family. The days of just walking in a patient's room in and out is over. And sometimes you're mad. You're like, I'm here putting myself and my family at risk for someone who wanted to go to breakfast or wanted to get together on the beach with their friends. I get it, I want to do those things too. And just because one person is asymptomatic and you hear, oh, it wasn't a person that got better in a week, for adults, it, there is no age discrimination for this virus. And the 20 and 30 year olds are as sick as the 70 and 80 year olds. You do not want this. The best treatment for you and your family is to keep yourself safe and to stay negative. And by wearing your mask and washing your hands and social distancing, you can keep yourself and your family and your friends safe.